This playthrough is rated M for Mature. It's time to go around the world in 80 days. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valner back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we finished the Asia campaign, and Yuri, perhaps lost, perhaps gone, it's hard to say, uh, Kurashima, or... Yeah, uh, I think that was supposed to be the lady who was talking during the cutscene at the end of the, the first section, because she says she never sees him again. Yeah, and that makes sense from her point of view. Well, she never sees him again, but other characters do. With Yuri out of the way and gone, or wherever he went off to, who's in left to take control? Let's find out as we head to Prague. Six months later. You know, when you have little money in Prague. <laughs> oh, it's Alice and, uh, Zhu Zhen. Well, there you go. Oh, another day's hard day's work complete. It's been a hard day's night. And I've been working like a dog. Yes, and that was just too funny. He thought I was a poltergeist. It was just the lady next door doing aerobics. <laughs> oh, the world's a peaceful place. Anyway, what do you say we get a bite to eat and unwind a bit? Are you asking me out for a drink? <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we play as Alice. Uh, she's the main character for now, so... Yep, well, I guess I'll make up for her being gone for some of Act 1, or Part 1, or whatever you want to call it, so. Yeah, nothing new about her, just whatever she was equipped when we first had her on the team and everything with that. But yeah, no souls, no graveyard access. Um, oh yeah, we could go to the library and look at uh, um, uh, the Calamity as we... Did I ever go over the Badger Devil from the last episode? I don't think I did, actually. Uh, that was a... Uh, boss from a couple episodes ago. Badger Devil. Old blood sucking cat that gained mystical strength. The Transformers devours the victims. It's tricked. Possesses long, ugly nails. And then we got Yamaraja of Calamity, where Dehwa turned into that before trying to invocate the Devil's invocation to summon the Seraphic uh, uh, Gate or whatever it was. So, Dehwa's ultimate skill. He transforms by feeding the darkness of a soul to a god of destruction and purgatory. Yeah. And then, uh, Bacon took a uh, transport his body somewhere. It's hard to say where it went to. So, if it has to do with spirits, leave it to us. From exorcism and finding lost objects, we're ready to help you. We're the fastest, cheapest, and most skilled exorcist today. Sounds like a ad for the Ghostbusters. Call us today. No, oh, yeah, call us and Zhu Zhen. Wait, they started a poltergeist business? Is what the batter nose says. Huh. Well, I guess they have to have a job. I guess to make money. So, oh, welcome back. How did the exorcism go? Another case solved? Impressive. And we can leave Prague if we want to, but we don't want to yet. There's so much, th so many things to do in Prague. Anyway, if we check over here, we see a Zodiac bracelet, so maybe this. Let's keep going. Oh, there's a sleeping man there. And a safe spot. Let's go and save it. It makes sense to take about six months to get here. Actually, they probably could have gotten there less time, but, uh, you know. Anyway, let's wake him up. Hey, wake up! Gonna get a little shake-up? He's like... <laughs> no, I was asleep. I was just thinking, that's all. <laughs> well, I don't sleep by this all the time, you know. Well, it do. <laughs> What'll you do? All right, count me in. Let's see what he's got. He's got the Berserker earrings, which aren't bad accessories. I think they raise your HP by 20%. And he's got a seal of luck if you want uh, another... Um, stat boost, a permanent stat booster. There is a way to technically grind that stuff for your main characters in the first section of the game in, in Europe or Asia, but I didn't really want to mess with it. Um, but you could possibly max out your stats, and that's probably the best part in the game to do that. And um, it, it has, it requires getting like the banded earrings and stuff like that. But um, anyway, all right, let's see if we can get them. Yeah, luckily it's super slow. Yeah, it gives, as long as you as long as you're aware at the very beginning, make sure it hit because it does start speeding up after a bit. So, huge surprise. Not that it took much to win it. That's I mean he's supposed to be sleeping. So I think that's the idea is that the rings uh, are dictated by the lottery member and how they're acting at the time. Like some will be super fast and slow. In this case, it was slow because this guy was sleeping. So anyway, we received the berserk earrings. Some advice: even if you fall asleep right after eating, you won't turn into a cow. Don't worry. Don't turn into a cow. What? are you talking about, dude? Seriously, you're insane. Anyway, let's take a look at that item we got. 
Uh, let's see, Berserk Earrings. Yeah, increases your HP by 20%. Yeah, no negatives. Just 20% HP. Woo. Uh, replicas of earrings stolen and never found again from a demon statue at Shaolin Temple. When worn, they stir up the blood and increase physical strength. Uh, I mean, physical strength isn't HP, I guess. Um, actually, let me put the uh, Anna's Cross on uh, Alice there. Just to uh, help her with her... Um... Oh, actually, I wanted to talk to the guys outside first, but... Uh, the older I get, the more often I have to. What do you mean? Get drunk? Oh... Right. He went to the old man's room. Psst. What's this world coming to? Or, sigh. <laughs> Pessimistic Chad? He's a Chad? I don't know. He doesn't act like a Chad. Uh, I heard that some town in the Orient was destroyed, but uh, what's it matter? Welcome home, As How did you... How was work? Did you find them? No, I can tell. Just look at your face. I guess not. Oh, you'll find them eventually. Men always come back when they feel they don't need. Eh, sometimes, depending if you go, uh, was it, Big Town, or whatever that term phrase is. Yeah, I'm surprised I know what that term is either. Uh, hello there, you must be tired from the day's work. Take a load off and relax a while. Take a load off and listen, or what? Something like that, anyway. Time flies, doesn't it? I can't believe you. I've been here for a month already. Are you getting acquainted with the town? It certainly looks like your business is going well. That reminds me, I should get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Do you need anything? Yeah, she turns into a shop. What is it, time is money? Yeah, I got chain mail, silk bolero, stud cap, face guard, western belt. Uh, most of the new, I don't think there's really, other than the uh, uh, like equipment, uh, nothing really new. Oh, there's the imp's fang and fairy side. I, I need to buy one of those just because I could use them for the silence, but I didn't because I just wasn't paying attention at the time, really. Might as well buy one of them. I'll buy one of them here in a second, so, but not right this second. Because there's something we could get here pretty soon, so. Oh, Zhuzhen got out of the bathroom. Excellent. So, alright. Uh, okay, so. Any, let me see if I can go. It'll let me go outside really quick. Nope. Okay. I can't leave Zhuzhen here. Well, there's something outside I want to grab, so. Can we go in the ladies' room? No, we can't. Nope. nope. Ah, ladies' bathrooms must be. The same as a guy's bathroom, basically. Yeah, people say there's like some mystical like thing between women's and men's bathroom. And there is, depending on where you go. But for the most part, there's really not much that much different between the two. What's the matter, Alice? You seem depressed. Are you thinking about the kid again? <sighs> oh, it's just that I can't believe it's been half a year already. I asked Margaret to bring me to Europe, but yeah, you know Margaret's in the party. Well, she's here somewhere, but not with the group at the moment. What, what if he's dead? But don't be ridiculous. You know that kid's not the kind to die so easily. Even if he has been absorbed by a monster, so long as his soul remains alive, he'll be, we'll meet again. And besides, your sixth set tells you that he's still alive, right? I'm not sure, but that's how I feel. I don't think the truth cares about your feelings, but okay. Don't you believe that we're... Uh, don't you believe that if we continue our work, we're bound to run into him again? Is that why you guys became poltergeist hunters? Yes, I did. Hmm. It was like typical bars where someone opens the door and everyone like gets quiet while they watch the new guy. Ah, uh, hello, stranger. Uh, what can I do for you at this hour? Um, I heard I could find some exorcists here. Terry? What are you from? Uh, King of Fighters or whatever? That Terry? Well, that's us. If you've come looking for us, I assume you need something exercised? I need some exercise. Yes, my name's Terry. I came from Blitzritz, or Bizritz, a small village east of here. I want a general store. Blitzritz? That's quite a trip. It must have been a hard journey. That's probably, not, I, I, like I said, I'm not German, folks, so you'll have to forgive my Austrian and German pronunciations. By the look on your face, I'd say you must have had good reason. Why don't you tell us your story? Right, it's, it's like this. My village is attacked by vicious monsters every night. Vicious monsters, huh? Vicious monsters? Well, that sounds bad. It started about a month ago. Every night, dark shadows surround the village. They're not human. No matter how many bullets they take, they won't die or don't die. So many villagers have lost their lives. I heard a rumor about you from a friend, so here I am. Well, I'm glad we could possibly help you in a way, so... 
Are they ghosts or demons, I wonder? Go on, tell us everything you know. Well, Blitzritz is a, or Bizritz is a small village located about two days walking east of here. A lord used to rule the village, but his bloodline died out some 300 years ago. The uh, strange thing is that since the attacks began, there have been lights seen in the castle windows. Vampire. And it's always got to be a vampire. Are the monsters in the castle related in any way? I don't know. There's no history of uh, any of our liege lords ever attacking his people. L luckily, it wasn't named uh, Dracul. However, in the off, is, the off chance that uh, it does involve the castle, I'd like you to investigate. I'm here on behalf of my village asking for your assistance. We accept the job. So, it would seem that you've got two assignments for us. One, getting rid of the monsters attacking the village. Two, investigating the Lord's castle. Yeah, so even at this very moment, the monsters are preying on my village. I'm so worried about my wife and daughter. Your only hope. That would be one. I mean, Alice. Let's check it out, Zhuzhen. Margaret should be back soon, too. Uh, yeah, she's our only fighter with, that, with Yuri gun. He took my mind's eye uh, accessory. No! All right, leave it to us. We'll eradicate these monsters for you. You will? Ah, oh, thank you. We're waiting for one of our companions, but once she arrives, we'll go straight to Bitsritz. Wonderful. Uh, wonderful. I'll head back and tell them the good news. I'll tell them the good news. Just wait for us to get there, okay? We'll be right behind you. Well, not really, but... Suddenly, excuse me. Looks like we got a job. Perhaps that'll lead us to something more. Sounds like another tough job, but Sritz says an old reputation for being a target for monsters. I've heard the same. It's always been a poor village. I've never heard anything good about it. Hmm. <laughs> We're well acquainted with the monster dens, constantly wandering into in them back in Asia. Shujin, do you think Terry will be okay? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh yeah, aren't we supposed to test your six cents things and all that other stuff? Or six cents? Now, now, stop trying to scare me, Margaret. We'll be here soon. Then we'll be off. Ah! Hmm? Uh-oh. What was that? What is it, Terry? It can't be. Yep. Hello? That scream came from over by the castle walls. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. How about you, lottery man? What the? Are the wolves attacking us? Yeah, it doesn't become a lottery member now, so... Alright. Let's head over to the castle walls. Actually, I think there's supposed to be... There it is. I received a Kieran scale. There's another item here. It might be... It might be I have to go a bit further in, but... Uh, uh monsters! <laughs> now, that lady's got a creepy face. What? What's this terrible evil I perceive? That's an old lady. That's the evil you perceive. Old ladies are scary, man. Man, we gotta fight some creatures here. The Birdman. Birdman! Alright, what's, uh... Oh, well, yeah, uh, let's hit him with Blessed Light. But, uh... You can also, uh, cast Wish, which, uh, cures stuff. Yeah, Alice learned this off-screen because of, uh... I don't know. I don't know how you get experience while trapped in a... In a lock... In a torture machine, but uh, anyway, so let's uh, attack these guys with that. Ah, yeah. oh well. And these guys are easy, by the way. I believe they're fire elemental, if I recall. So once again, Zhu Zhen's magic isn't going to be as effective, but uh, yeah, we can use Life Sucker at least. That'll do some decent damage since it's a fire elemental. And depending on the creature, you can actually get uh, your HP back from it, but it's not always the case. Nice. Terry, are you alright? Well, so much for going back to the village to warn, uh, tell them about us. Uh, they, they followed us. Please save the village. Michelle, Nina. <coughs> Terry! Don't you have healing batteries or something? Damn, we were too late. He dies no matter what, by the way. We should have stayed with him. Yeah, so much for trusting your sixth sense all the time. There's something we could have done. That evil I was feeling, this was no ordinary monster. You felt it too surely. That blood-sucking hag could have been killed us too if we weren't careful. Yes, it's the first time I felt such evil in Europe. 
Zhu Jin, I don't think we can wait for Margaret. No, she's the fighter. Don't do it. I think you're right. Maybe the two of us should go head on to Mist's roots. Yes. Nuts. Yeah, we gotta head on to uh, Bizritz ahead of Margaret, so we don't have a uh, uh, a fighter, official fighter with us. So, oops, wrong one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you can still go on with Juju on the party. All right. Oh yeah, I was gonna buy that here in a second, but not quite yet. Uh, was oh yeah, just I was trying to see if you guys should go with Juju, and you can, yay. Even though Juju's not that kind of a guy. So, you go to Bizritz. Do take care. In such a remote area, there's no tell what kind of monsters you'll encounter. I'll let Miss Margaret know where you went. Don't worry about that. Alright, well, okay. I can't believe monsters showed up in this town. Thank God you were here to protect us. I pray for your safety. Yeah, well, thanks for that. Oh, come on. Okay, so, oh, sorry. It seems the world's getting noisier. I thought he said something else, but... Maybe uh, things used to be so much quieter in the good old days. Nostalgia, man. It's a heck of a drug. I tell you what. Alright, well, anyway, so... All right, let's uh, let's see. I think was it supposed to be? Might be back on the previous screen. There's a there's a um, another item in this uh, place. So, uh, let's see if I can find it. Could have gotten this earlier before the fight. So, but uh, let's see. It should be around here, I think. Hmm. It's supposed to be. There it is. Man, you can barely see that that treasure chest there. Actually, you can't see it at all because it's hidden. But anyway, you get a lottery ticket for uh, that. Let's talk to these guys. I let them get the best of me last time, but I'm ready for anything now. But a di guy died because of you. And there's a silent peddler here. And we'll see what he's got for... Nope, we don't want to buy that. I, I want to see what my uh, services were at right now. I think we could buy the flash badge or the iron cogs or clogs if we want to, but nope, we're going to save it for the 8,000, just because. All right, and we've got, yep, May Wan has followed us here. Oh, how do you do it here? Let me guess, you already jumped you so you could take, you took off. Care for some acupuncture treatment? Not right now. Yeah, he's here, so if you want to uh, improve your uh, weapons, then you get the option there, so very nice. All right, I want to go back to the bar, because there's an item we can get in there as well, so... Let's see, I believe uh, it's supposed to be. Oh, maybe it's over here. There it is. No. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's what I was looking for earlier. It's like I was trying to find it. I was like, well, I'll continue on before I uh, go out there. So, all right. Priest wine is what we get for that. I didn't know priests have a unique wine to themselves. Uh, where are you? Oh, there's the Kirin scale we got earlier, or Kirin scale. A scale from the body of the mythical creature of the Kirin has an effect of ju of the, on the judgment we double the user's hit area and having sweep speed. So yeah, it, uh, it's uh, actually, it's one of those few straight up positive um, items. So save that for a special occasion. Then we got the priest wine, which uh, restores MP to 100 and SP by six. Wine made by the miracle worker priest uh, Ross Faris by adding his own and a few drops of a woman's blood to muddy water restores mystical and mental strength. All right. Now I probably would. Uh, I usually what I do is I would go ahead and get the uh, the buy the items from this place. But the thing is, we're about to get a uh, another card here pretty soon, so I want to. Uh, Wait to get that before then, just so I can save even more money. Although the the, the ring is starting to start getting faster and faster and faster, so we're gonna have to start, you know, really paying attention to saving before going to the next area, for the purposes of, um, you know, what's the word? Purposes of, uh, you know, saving money and I have to spend it if I can help it. So, all right. Well, anyway, let's uh, head into uh, Blitz, uh, Biz, was it Bits Ritz? Bits Ritz. I'm just making sure I got that right. In this case. So, this is Bits Ritz, or Biz Ritz. There certainly is a spooky air about the place. I do like the architecture of old European cities and towns and stuff like that. It has a gothic feel, at least before a lot of them got, you know, bulldozed over for modern technology, so. But, yeah, that's just how it is. It's been quite a while since I've felt such a strong ghostly presence. This is exciting. Great. Don't be overconfident. First, we should look for Terry's shop. And tell him that their father died. 
Yeah, let's do that. I just wish we weren't the ones who had to bring such sad news about Terry. Alright, now we're in Miseritz itself, and yeah, it's, it's super scary. And I don't think I have my... I don't have the pedometer with me, do I? Oh, there, there it is. Um, yeah, let's uh, swap that out. And... Yeah, let's uh, quit the Warlock earrings. Why not? Interesting. No, I think that might work. All right. Anyway, let's see. I think. Whoops. I actually didn't mean to leave town. More bad. We're supposed to be. There it is. Ha. Oh. Come on. There it is. Yeah, this one's another one of those easily to miss because you know the game likes messing with us like that. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, we got a lottery ticket for that, so all right, back this way. We got a safe spot here, so let's do it and save it. Yeah, sorry, like I said, if I if I ever take like a few seconds to not talk as properly or whatever, it's because I'm trying to uh, look up my notes for like where items are and stuff like that. So anyway, got another item here. Got a mana seed. Awesome. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. It's locked. You know, old European towns, of course. It's locked. They're not going to let anyone in. Yeah, I like the atmosphere of this place. You know, for a horror game and all that other stuff, so. There's a sign for a weapon shop, but the door seems to be tightly locked. But I want to buy weapons, dang it. Alright, fine. Let's see what this one is. Carly Edo. Aye, it's a, is it a monster? Maybe it is a monster. I don't know. Oh, there's a. It's this. Who is it, Dad? Is that you? No, it's a monster. <laughs> yeah, you just say that if you don't want to go inside yet. So. It feels like something is breathing quietly. Aaron was just kind of watching. But anyway, if we check over here, we've got a talisman of wisdom. Can we go in there? The gate is sturdily locked. A dark and seemingly endless forest stretches across the other side. Now, that's what I'm talking about in a horror game. It's the season to be jolly. La la la. I mean, uh, spooky. La 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 la. So. Um, I think. Okay. It's time to speak, friend, and enter. I'm a friend of your father's. Dad, is that you? Come inside. Uh, yeah, about that. About that. Uh, who are you? We're the exorcists from Prague. Terry asked us to investigate this village. Exorcist, where is my husband? Uh, Terry is. Nina, why don't you go there over there? Mom? Dot, dot, dot. She's giving her the mom look. Best to leave the adults to talk. I see. I guess we told him about Terry's death off screen, so didn't even rehash it. Mommy, is Daddy dead? Will you ever come back? I'm afraid not, Nina. Daddy went to call these people to come save the village. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wish we'd realized sooner. Maybe we could have saved your father. Dot, dot, dot. No, that's all right. The important thing is your game. We will do everything we can. I'm sure we'll be able to send the monster packing. Thanks, mister. Hmm? Who's that? Ah, oh, mayor. Ah, there, Nina, Michelle, I heard there were some strangers we're seeing coming into the shop. And that'd be you folks, I suppose. I'm the mayor of this village. The name's Kevin. Uh, we're exorcists from Prague. The master of the shop asked for our services. Who, who, a, a guy from like an Austrian-German town called Kevin. All right. Why not? Aha, so that's what's going on. Most reassuring. And where's Terry then? He's not with you? After Terry gave us his assignment, he was attacked by monsters. I see. I'm so sorry to hear that. Now you got the look of a bad guy on you. That's nah, probably not. Nothing. I don't know what to say. You have my deepest condolences. It's such a shame just when you made arrangements to move to America. Only. Hey, what do they say about America? It's, uh. There's no cats in America and the streets are paved with cheese. Dot, dot, dot. But you didn't worry. I'll make sure you are taken care of. Please do your best to cheer up. Kevin, you don't have to worry about us. Nina and I have each other. 
Now we're not strangers, so don't hesitate to call me any time. Whatever concerns you might have. Well, well, well. Whew, well, I guess I'll be going. Anyway, just something weird about this guy. I should warn our two exorcists that the monsters appear when the fog turns red. Please be careful. Dot, dot, dot. Were you all planning on going to America? Yes, a good friend of my husband's is in New York. He sent us a lot of gifts and took care of us. From this fall, he was going to help us with work over there. But no. He's a famous professor at a New York University. He grows flowers. I, s I see. Well, let's get you, let's you and get me go take a look around the outside. We need to explore the village a little more. Uh, Ma'am, what can you tell us about the castle where the lord of this domain used to live? The Nubermint's castle? Yes, the people of Bizritz call it Blue Castle. It's an ancient castle past the forest east of the village. It was deserted 300 years ago. No one goes near it. Are the monsters coming for that castle? Maybe. I mean, it seems to make sense. No, there's no monsters in the castle. What do you know, ch child? Nina! You promised not to tell that silly story anymore. Mom! Well, she's being a little uh, whiny there, aren't you? I'm sorry. Please find out what you can about the village. I'm so awfully tired. We have to rest. I mean, after hearing about your father, or your husband, and the girl's dad dying, so... We'll be leaving, then. Uh, sorry to have brought you such bad news. If you can think of anything else we should know, please be sure to tell us. I'm so sorry. We won't let your father's death go to waste. Shouldn't it be me in vain or whatever? Anyway, uh oh. The fog is turning red. Well, that was convenient, don't you think? So, it's time for the monsters to show up. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was this excited. Mm. Alright, if you say so, so. Alright. Anyway, after that, uh, let's see. Now we can go uh, get new weapons if we want to as well. And, now that we the, uh, the fire is out, or the red um, fog is out, now we can. Um, fight random encounters in this place, kind of like in the previous when we fought the village at the beginning of the game. Let's leave them alone for now. But before we go into, obviously, the forest, let's uh, take a look around. It feels like something's breathing quietly. Alright. Is it a monster? Okay, that's the same. But we can't go in the item shop if we want to, so. Which I will upgrade my weapons here eventually. You all the excess is Terry hard, aren't you? Allow me to be of service. We're dealing weapons and armor here. Go and take a look around. Yeah, you can still buy the Silk Roll Arrow and the Chain Mail Vest here, which we will do. And we can buy a Roll of S-Dog, hmm. but no one could equip it. That's weird. But anyway, we can buy the Tome of the Sun if we want to, which we will do in your moment. But yeah, huh. Well, Margaret can't use an S-Dog, and Yuri can't use an S-Dog. Huh. I wonder if that's spoilery. It's locked. There's a rustling sound from inside the house. Maybe something inside, perhaps. I feel something evil from the other side of this door. Now, this is the mayor's house, right? Hmm. But did you notice how Michelle and Nina were kind of cold to the mayor? Something's fishy here. Let's ask the people here. Hmm. Yes. Uh, what a hopefully get into fights. There's a couple of new enemies in this place. Well, yeah, two, I believe, so. Let's see. Oh, I guess I found them already. Oh, well, all right, I guess you're going to use special attacks on this, aren't you? So, all right, sorry, I'm just, uh, let's see, I'm just taking a look at my notes here, so, uh, let's see. Okay, sorry. All right, so, what we got here? We got ourselves Mailman 1 and 2 and Police Dog, and, uh, this game is weird, you know what I mean, folks? Anyway, let's uh, fight these guys. Let's just use magic, because, uh, yeah, their attack spells aren't going to do much, so. Let's see. Uh, mailman is earth, and police dogs are water, by the way. So, uh, Zhuzhen's uh, fire ability would, or fire magic would work here, so. But, yeah, they're basically dogs with mouths, or with hands coming out of their mouths. Great. Yeah, we don't need new weapons. We just need to use our magic. Oh yeah, and we also got new music uh, for uh, um, this uh, part of the game. So, yeah, almost gained a level. We're close. 
But yeah, we already found all the new enemies there, so all right, good to go. Uh, let's see, let's go to uh, library. All right, got the Birdman. Birdman, ghost of a bell ringer who took his own life. His body was pierced by a pole when he jumped off a bell tower. The story goes that the birds ate his flesh. Then we got the mailman here. Ghost of a mailman who ate all of the dogs in town. He despises his own form. His kicks are powerful and predictable. Or the arm is attached to the mouth. I, I kept thinking that mouth, the, the arm was coming out of the mouth, but it looks like it's a centipede situation going on here. Anyway, I got a police dog. Evil ghost of a police dog that devoured its owner and the mother dog. He howls with regret for his crimes. The embodiment of hunger. Uh, isn't this game lovely for with its monsters and everything like that? It's like straight out of some horror book. But anyway, let's go back to Terry's place. Let's leave them alone for now. Or not. Uh, Hunter Warda. Man, it's research. Yeah, I know all about that. I bet you've been digging all over for some gold. Gold? Biz Ritz has always had frozen ground, never able to produce more than ha hair's droppings. Now to make do with what little beastie meat and hides and such we can scratch with the forest. How about you? The mayor? Uh, you mean Kevin? He became a mayor because he's rich. He's been doing, doing strange research for a long time, but I hear he's having some money problems now. Money problems? I mean, what are you going to spend your own money on? And we gain a level in between that, and uh, Xu Jin gained a new ability, the Corpse Arm. An arm from grave attacks all enemies, plus pr paralysis. It's basically similar to, uh, I forgot what the, uh, what the Scorching, um, the Wind Shear uh, did, where the hands come out of the ground, stuff like that. Uh, let's see, now you don't have any. New, oh, and the shop's called Chicken Heart, by the way. It's locked. Okay, never mind, we talked to everyone, so. All right, let's see if we can uh, t now go to Sherry's shop. All right, anyway, let's go inside. Yeah, now we can do... We just had to talk to the houses first before then, so... Hey, Alice, my mom's feeling sick. I'll look after the shop while she rests. Your shop? Nina, can I ask you something? The mayor, what kind of person is he? Could you tell me anything? Dot, dot, dot. And apparently they don't like Kevin. I mean, he is called... He is Kevin, so, you know... I don't like him. He keeps bothering my mom. Probably because she's the only hottie in town, I bet. And now that her fa husband's dead, she's available. Although, the, man, that's just a bad way of saying it, especially when someone's loved one just died. Ooh. Uh, he ke also keeps asking to see all the gifts my dad gave me. From your dad? He gave you lots of gifts? Yeah, one of them is a letter from my dad's friend in America. It's got a cute little leather bag attached to it. It's my favorite. Do you still have it? Yeah, he hid it in a secret place. Hmm, so perhaps the mayor's just an oddball who doesn't seem to be very well liked. Yeah, I doubt that. Maybe, but does that mean that the monsters are coming from Blue Castle? The master of the castle would never be friends with the monsters. And you know the master of the castle? There are no monsters in that castle. That blonde-haired master of the castle saved me from wolves. Blonde-haired master lives in a castle with wolves or fighting wolves I wonder what he is or who he is no uh, no I of course I don't know viewers he did really yeah a month ago a person with big wings flew from towards the castle I ran after this person but I got lost in the forest soon the wolves came after me then the master ran out of the castle to save me well, then what did the master of the castle do the master of the castle took me back to the village and went home my mom keeps saying that the master is a vampire. And there you go, folks. Well, it ain't a horror story unless you can mention a vampire or in there. She tells me that if people find out about this, they think I'm a vampire too. Man, I've read, I've read Dracula. So, did you suck your blood? She's dude. She's seven. Uh. No, the master is very nice. We joined hands and sang together. Uh, that sounds like more like a Twilight vampire to me. Ooh. Oh, really? So it seems there really is someone at the castle. Maybe we need to check that out first. But if what Nina said is true, then I wouldn't think the master and the monsters are related. But he might know something more about the red fog and the monsters. Alice, are you going to see the master? Then take this key with you. You can open the east gate with it. Yeah, we couldn't open the gate before, but now we can because of that. So uh, why the girl has a thing that helps people leave the village and not another villager, I don't know why. You receive the east gate key. There are lots of wolves in the forest. Be careful. We'll be all right. We'll be right back. Wait here with your mother, okay? 
Okay. But anyway, if we, uh, well, one, we can check this. We get a moon swallow. Gross. And uh, there should be something else around here. It might be outside, maybe. Um, but anyway, if we talk to Nina. I'm up with my mom. What would you like? She becomes a shop. The do re Me or do re Me shop. I keep forgetting. I've been forgetting over the course of the game to read the, what the shop is called. But uh, anyway, she's got a new item called the Metal Bat, which uh, raises your attack power because it's a metal bat. Um, and not a bat bat, but like a, you know, bat, like hit balls and stuff like that. And then she yeah, she's got all those, but we'll do that here in a second. So can we actually talk to the mom or anything like that? No. Anyway, if we search here, we get the moon card. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So if we check our valuables. Well, one, we can check the east gate key. Key to Bits, uh, Bizritz, Bizritz town gate. If the gate is a, for protection, if the gate is for protection from animals, why is there a carving of a sun on the gate and garlic on the key? Hmm, I wonder. And then finally, the moon card. Guild card found at Bizritz. Bizritz. This one has a moon picture on it. Those guild folks must be astrology fans, if you say so. But anyway, now we can use this to buy uh, stuff at the shop at a, a more of a discount now. So let me uh, go save it real quick. I'll just buy one item. And basically, what I'm just going to do off screen. I'm just going to buy everything I want, which is basically just armor for Alice and uh, Zhuzhen and the, the tome for Alice there. Uh, don't need the S stock, because why would I buy it? There's clearly no one in the party that can use it. Perhaps that's a glitch. All right, let's go buy. I just want to show off what. what um, the 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 new discount is but yeah it's it's a 30 percent discount and 15 percent of raised prices there so we can even get even more of a discount that's why i didn't want to buy what i wanted to like right at the beginning so yeah i just want to show off what 30 percent like how fast 30 percent is on this thing so i'm actually going to start paying attention now to the ring um on uh, this just because of how fast it is it's not the fastest yet but it's going to get faster yeah see and it's smaller too on the little um, ring sections there, so yeah, you had to be very careful about that. So, but anyway, now we've got the, now we've got the key, and uh, it looks like this, uh, the red fog is gonna cause a lot of trouble for the villagers. What awaits us into the forest and the blue castle? Are we gonna find out that the master is a night owl or something much more? Find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.